and welcome once again to the Forward Compatible Podcast. This is episode 94, part What's two. What's right there, Tony? Why, why'd you turn your head? Because oh. I forgot what episode number one. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you have yet to do so, please do pause the video or click out and check it out later. It really doesn't matter for part one, where you we do discuss where we discuss this week's news as well as answer the it's viewers' insulting. burning questions. But this, of course, ah. is part and two. the return of the Impoverished Geek Question of the Week, where we uh, are giving out the one year Ooh. of Xbox, Xbox Live, Live, which if this is Wednesday that this is going up, you have until midnight to follow my instructions. Yes, in part one. But this, of course, is part two, where we cover... Mark's coming on the uh, once again, real quick, I am handing the reins over to Mark. We're following a similar structure to last week because Jason didn't buy the PS4, so he hosted. This week, Mark is the lone one who did not get the Xbox One, so he's hosting. Well, Brian, too, but it's past the camera. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Put it through the camera. Mm-hmm. We are. Mm-hmm. That we are. Move your chair up just a little bit. You're squeaking. There you go. Your face is good. So this is officially the the David Letterman hour. <laughs> with your host David Letterman. I know, right? Don't you feel? Don't you feel special? A coffee cup, though. <laughs> David Letterman show. Don't don't you? I know my ashtray. <laughs> don't you feel special that you're sitting over there by yourself? Yes, I do. I, I you know I was actually here at the table again. Cause you know David Letterman. That's a good idea. No, too late. I know. I'm too missed. Too late. You sit behind the chair. Sorry, because my, my desk. nuts kind of itch and I want to scratch them, but the table's not there anymore. <laughs> you, there may be a part in last week's, <laughs> last Monday's, this Monday's episode where you might see me do that. Right? And you just kind of do it instinctively. Because <laughs> we're usually it covered happens. by a table. It happens. We're usually I'm, I'm assuming pants. 120% of our audience is male. So, uh, they understand. <laughs> well, if that's the case. <laughs> and our female audience just went up 10%. Who knew? That's for it's you kind of, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> 130% of our audience. And watching. Andy just turned it off. Alright, so this is the uh, David Ledman topic of the week. We got uh, the initial thoughts on your Xbox One. Nothing too deep, just like normal. Um, it's good, Mark. It's good. There we go. I, I absolutely adore this thing, which is uh, surprising to me because I I was I this was the the council, if anything, that I had some doubts about. Like the PS4, I was a billion percent sure I was getting, and I never questioned it for one second. And the Xbox One, not like I ever really doubted it, but. At certain points, I was kind of like, should I really get it? Uh, you know, then the next day, I'd be like, fuck it, let's just get it. Then, you know, a week later, I'd be like, eh, maybe I don't really need both of them. And then, you know, back and forth and back and forth. But I am so happy I got one. Uh, I, I adore this thing. It's awesome. It's an amazing machine. It really is. Um, I was in a I was in a similar boat as Tony, as uh, especially coming down to that last, uh, that last week, I was having almost like a pre-buyer's remorse. Mm-hmm. Where I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, uh, I, I didn't really have a thought of going with a, a PlayStation Four, especially since they're they're not available right now. But uh, once I did get it and I got it home and I got it set up and everything, um, it's good, Mark. It's good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mark. Pretty good. No, I'm, 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 I'm glad that you're uh, both enjoying it. Uh, I mean, I, I figured right from the start that both of them would be great systems right off the bat. Um, I we have a, a bit of a topic later on where Tony's going to do a little bit of comparison, so you can stick around for that. Um, I mean, it was scary the first like the last like the like the two weeks leading into launch, like um, you know all that stuff started popping up about games not running at as high of re- resolution and. And you're starting like in my own head. Learn that 900 p is a thing. Yeah, and I'm I'm like I'm like questioning like if this thing's really next gen and all this other stuff is it really going to look that good. You know, a lot of the features that I personally don't care about weren't going to be ready at launch and stuff. <clears throat> it was just it was just like a lot of little stuff, and I was kind of like, Ugh, I don't know, but you know, I'm I'm glad I fucking bit. I really am. That's good. It's good. It's good. It's pretty good. Mark. Pretty good. Pretty good to hear. All right. So, um, did either of you gentlemen pick it up at midnight or? Uh, 
did you pick it up next day or what, what, what were you? Doing? I had work. So next day. Yeah. I got um, next day. I worked the midnight, uh, much like I did with the PS4. So I was there for it. Are, are we doing our midnight? Ex- is that what this is right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, essentially. Uh, yeah, I, I work at a video game retailer, so I I, uh, I was at the midnight. Uh, it was it was cool. Uh, the, Microsoft sent us a lot more stuff than Sony did. Um, there was like shirts and badges and pins buttons, and t-shirts. And, like like so so Sony sent us some t shirts. They're just like here wear wear these these PS4. We're proud. Yeah, the greatness of white shirts. Microsoft sent us a bunch of swag for the for the midnight. Um it was a, swag. Stuff we all get. Yes. Um You're welcome. I, not I, that Justin Bieber bullshit. I think uh the 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 PS four launch was uh bigger uh at my personal store. I don't the numbers came out this week that both sold a million in 24 hours, so I don't really know. And they're sold out everywhere, so I, you know. I'm assuming but, that was almost like the pre-order numbers yeah. of it. But my particular GameStop, the PS4 launch was like three times the size, uh, but and a lot more entertaining. The Xbox One was a little boring, but uh, I'm glad I experienced it. Because uh, I've never been... And that's it for this week. <laughs> I've never <laughs> been to... Uh, I never worked a council launch before, so I wanted to do both of them. I actually requested to work both of them this time. And I don't anticipate I'll be working uh, at this store when uh, the PS5... Yeah, the PS5 and whatever the hell the new... The Xbox 2... Xbox 2. Is fucking called. Whatever. I, I assume I won't be there any longer. So uh, this was like my chance. So I really wanted to do it, and I'm happy I did. Uh, so I got my council at one thirty when we closed, one thirty in the morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, yeah. I did get an opportunity to watch the, uh, I don't know if you have this on there, but Spike ran a launch event on TV. Um, Awkward time. I, I didn't even They did the same there. fucking thing they, Sony did. Yeah, the, I, it just awkward timing. I think it came on, was it 9 o'clock? It was 10. 10 o'clock, 10, 10 o'clock. 10, 10 uh, our time, 10 p.m. to uh, uh, 11 p.m. Yeah. So it was a launch event, but when you think about it, everyone who's who would probably want to watch it is at the launch event not watching it. Yeah. Well, it was live from New York, mm-hmm. uh, obviously an hour ahead from where we yeah. are, so it was it was live. They actually showed the first system being handed out. Uh, the only notable thing from it is uh, they gave a guy they they did a little showcase on a guy who's uh, very very close. He's like uh, nine hundred. Five nine hundred and fifty thousand. He's like very close to a million gamer score. They gave him a gold Xbox Live lifetime subscription. Oh, that's, that's fucking badass. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I didn't hear about that. Dude was absolutely speechless. He was just like, "What? Really? That's cool. That's mm-hmm. nice of them." Yeah. Other than that, um, I, was there anything else noteworthy from the No, I mean they talked to they hour. talked to Dead Mouse for a minute. I didn't know what the guy looked like without the head on. I was like, oh, so that's him. <laughs> um, it was just filler going over. You know, they showed a couple of games. Mm. Nothing, nothing really. Honestly, from what the previews of it was, from what I watched, it, it didn't. It, it probably, n- it. Pl- probably no different than what Sony had done the previous week. Yeah, it just they had like two musical it's like, acts. It's almost like you have to have it. Like I, I just. You know, you're celebrating the launch mm-hmm. of it, but it's yeah. I mean, it's nothing it. really yeah. in retrospect of everything. It's completely, else going I, I could I could have done without it, but I mean, you yeah. know, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm sure if you were there, it was probably awesome. Mm-hmm. But you know, that was a, probably a few thousand people. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, they, they make these things look so cool on the TV, though. Like they had an uh, armor truck pull up to the yeah. to the Best Buy, and and then they had that one where like like Master Chief was just walking around in full costume, like at one of the midnights. It's like where mm-hmm. the fuck is this shit? They, they did some cool shit. We, we during the day, we don't, we don't live in Middletown, Nebraska. No, we live in Chicago. None of that shit was going on around here for the PS4 or the Xbox the, One. The coolest, thing, like in New York. Where they were launching during the day, they had a horde of zombies walking over the yeah. the Brooklyn Bridge, mm-hmm. and then they had like sports cars race by for Forza. Yeah, and then uh, I think it was something I, I could be wrong, but like they had the Romans, Romans the they Roman came, out, came out, came out, came out in, in yeah. full and, and blocked the zombies and shit. Yeah, it, no, like we, we didn't get like there wasn't even like a dude with a nothing, not even a Master Chief helmet. Mm-hmm. Anywhere in the dressed city. up, yeah. nobody. So. We didn't even get a uh, one of those early events. Um, 
that that Microsoft was touring around to the public. Uh, no, we got one. No, you got a special one. We, we got, got one at Soldier Field. You got one for retailers. No, there was one at Soldier was Field. Was yeah. Okay. Well, the, the, the week of when they were touring it, we didn't get one. They like that. Maybe they did it previous. They I didn't know. You had to have Bears tickets though. Oh, okay. It was at a Bears. Yeah. Game. No. No. It was this, very limited. This This is not what I was. It was something else that they were doing. It was the the Xbox One road trip is what they called it. And starting on last Sunday, they started in California and and all the way to New York to the launch. And they didn't stop here either. They did it a few months we ago Louis. for GameStop. Um, it was like ASM mm-hmm. store manager and one yeah. other or something like that. I didn't even go. We, they didn't even promote it very well. I got invited and I couldn't go because it was a Saturday. Yeah. 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 Anyways. Bastards. Anyway, uh, next thing. Uh, you guys got home, unboxed it. Made a video. Made a video. Posted it. Didn't mm-hmm. cap out your phone data for the month. No. No. I actually followed through with something that we were supposed to. Uh, uh, I, I filmed it. Filmed it. Couldn't. Follow through with it. Okay. I uh, the Xbox. I, I think it was because I got the day one edition, so it was all black and oh. silver and sexy. It is absolutely uh, the box is absolutely fucking gorgeous. The the uh, the unboxing. I have to give it to Xbox One. I do too. I actually was watching some unboxing videos and did I, you I, watch ours? Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, it was cool. Uh, I love this. When I opened it up and saw this yeah. thing, mm-hmm. I was like, ooh, that's cool. fucking. Yeah. That's posh looking, you know? Yeah. I pulled this shit out, mm. and it was all nice and shiny and silver with mm-hmm. the black background, and it just says Xbox One, you're just yeah. looking at it. The only piece you could see when you first open it up is the connect sensor. Yeah. And you're just like, oh. And then, uh... Which was right there. Yeah. And then you had that, that Xbox like One over there, so, yeah. you know, it was... Which was wrapped in black, uh, styrofoam paper or whatever they call that. The, I got, I have to say, though, uh, unboxing both of these within eight days of each other... Uh, the Xbox One was a lot harder to unbox. I almost um, dropped mine on the video. There was, uh, the plastic I was... I did mine, too. The plastic was wrapped really stupidly, and there was these ridiculous stickers that you got off with ease in your video. <laughs> and mine just didn't want to the come little, off. The little tape tap? Yeah, like and it tap? was just like, I, I was sitting there yelling at my Xbox One at, like, 1.45 in the Xbox, morning. Xbox, turn on! I'm like, why the fuck would Xbox. they tape it like this? Mm-hmm. Give me some help. Let me, let me tell you why. Like, Sony put it all in these nice little baggies, you just mm-hmm. pulled it open, and it was, and the wires were out. Let me, let me tell you why. Because we had an incident a number of years ago where at the, the store that I worked at where a water main broke in our back room and uh, soaked our entire stock of brand new systems. Now the systems were fine because they're all wrapped up in plastic and whatnot, but the boxes were destroyed, so we could no longer sell them as new. Xbox 360 had the same thing on the Slims, the stupid little tape. So I got really good at figuring out how to get that shit off. <laughs> so it's from experience. Yeah, it sucked balls. I was I was getting mad at the packaging, <laughs> but like aesthetically, the Xbox looked cooler when I unboxed Ace both of them. But uh, let me go look at Ace. Keep going. Let's go see what the puppy's doing. Keep it going. Yeah, but uh, I leave all the time. PlayStation was better. It, it was more yeah. ease to get it out. So. Yeah, no. It, it, from it's every video I saw, it just seemed a little bit less packaging. In some cases, though... There was, like, the, four different stickers on the fucking power brick. Like, this part was wrapped in a bag, and then this one was put on... <laughs> this part was had another two stickers on it. It's just... Obviously, your sticker... Um, I, was getting, I was getting angry. I was getting very angry. Puppy was eating a pillow. <laughs> so I had to go stop him. Delicious. I've got this... Uh, Full fiber. Really quick. I didn't work the midnight, but I was there when the shipment arrived, and an Xbox bit me, mm. and it still won't heal. Yeah, I'm bleeding right now. That was a dog bite. No, <laughs> really. My first official David Everyone Letterman topic AIDS. of the week has AIDS. 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 Oh, I'm bleeding. A bit. Well, I was gonna save this till later, but now since I have a problem, Don't did anyone run into any uh, day one problems? Uh, this is another thing that uh, Microsoft kicked Sony's ass at. Uh, I called. This went so smooth uh, and so fast. Uh, I didn't think either one, I, weeks before they launched, I'm like, both of them are going to have terrible launches. There's going to be major headaches to get online, to download everything, to sync up, to do all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. PlayStation came out. I wasn't mad at all because I'm like, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Uh, then I got the Xbox One. I'm anticipating problems. Everything went smooth as silk. 
So, like, day one update, down Everything recently. 30 seconds later, what everything was ready to go. Uh, my day one, it, it took probably about three or four minutes to do. Okay. Um, bad, uh, for the file size, it should have been quicker, but, I mean, I understand the, the reasoning behind it. Um, setting everything up, uh, went through the menus. Uh, the only issue I've encountered, two very minor, minor issues. Uh, the first one is um, with Xbox One, it ports over your old avatar picture, but the uh, resolution is different by a lot. So um, is it pixelized? Uh, it's pixel? you're, you're, it, You have a space like this, mm -hmm. and your picture's in the middle like this. Oh, so, okay, so the actual, it leaves the corners. Yeah, right? okay. a lot, a lot. Okay. Um, so I That's went... Like 10% yeah, of it. Yeah, okay. the picture only takes up 10%. Well, yeah, that lets you know how much uh, they've uh, upgraded, So they have a bunch of generic pictures on there. Or you can use your, your avatar. And I'm like, all right, well, I'll switch it to my avatar. So it takes, you know, uh, a yeah. gamer pick of my avatar. It kept crashing, telling me that there, uh, something, it said, something terrible has happened. Please check back later. And it went on for better part of a day. And then it finally worked. It's um, kinda, the, the Xbox One is funny. Really? I cannot think, I, I apologize, I'm bringing this up, and it's going to make for poor conversation right now. But Jason just brought that up, and it made me think of it. There was a few times where something like that would happen, and the Xbox like made a joke, just like it did there. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, something terrible's happened, or like, uh, oh, you're not going to believe you this. We can't do that. Have or you ever like, read YouTube's when you get the YouTube crash during like a video or something? Yeah, like monkeys. That? And yeah, stuff. A, a, a team of highly trained monkeys is working to. Fix if you see situation. them, give them this code. Yeah. yeah. Um, the only other issue that I've encountered uh, was today. Um, Tony brought over Forza. Uh, which I have not had a chance to play yet, and we went to install it. And right as we went to install it, something happened with my network. Uh, my my personal home network froze up, and it froze the system up for a few minutes. We were, after resetting everything, able to get it up and running. Mm -hmm. But that was the only other issue that, that I've had so far. There you go. So turning on, first time... Good experience, I'm assuming, then, for very most of quick, it sounds like? Very okay. quick. Uh, it's about 20 seconds. Yeah, I know they were saying the, the start times were mm -hmm. pretty... It could, very low. I I probably went through the setups, and I, you know, because I, I go through the menus and set everything, and I downloaded Netflix and Twitch and Hulu and everything that I could. So you have almost all the apps. I point. have all the apps. Um and, and everything. So my initial setup probably took me a little bit longer because I had to put in all my information. The, the nice thing, though, um, is everything that I'd already previously had set up, like uh, Netflix and YouTube. You didn't have to log in again. Didn't have to log in again. Oh, that's very it nice. automatically... It knew from the 360. It's nice. Yeah. I did it, too. I, when I did Netflix, mm -hmm. and I popped it open, and I'm like, oh, great. Dude, I have to go to, yeah, have to, go to Netflix.com and get the stupid code and mm -hmm. all this other shit. It's just like... No, nope. hey, it's like hi, Anthony. It's like oh, yeah, cool. The the other cool thing, the only code that I had to do was um, I can actually control YouTube from the YouTube app, not the Xbox app, the YouTube app on my phone on my Xbox. That's cool. So it, it gave me a sync code for that, and I did that and worked great. Nice. That's a cool uh, day one thing. Yeah. I didn't really expect. Awesome. Well, uh, next question. Um, how do you guys like the controller comparing it to the three sixty? I didn't think you could get much better than the 360 controller, but they somehow managed to do it. Uh, you can believe all the hype. Uh, it really is that good. It really is that comfortable. Uh, you know, I didn't. I really didn't think you could improve upon perfection because the 360, aside from the D-pad, nearly was. Uh, but it's better. It's Even better. With, uh, what, about, what about the D-pad? It's better than almost every. What do you mean? Like, do you compare it to the 360 D-pad? It's still not as good as the PS3s or the PS4s, but it's uh, the. It was hard to make it worse than what the 360s mm -hmm. was. And so it's slight improvement. It's a, no, it's a lot better. Okay. It's a lot better. Uh, the triggers are cool. Uh, I used to love the 360 layout. Now I don't know if I can go back to it after messing around with the Xbox One. It is so comfortable. Everything's so precise and perfect. It really, it really fucking is. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you don't. The only thing that's weirding me out is because the Xbox button, the guide button or whatever, is so high up. Angry Andy was doing the same thing. I'm like looking for it on where my 360s it. was, and I'm missing it. The The two buttons are a lot better designed than on the DualShock 4, though. The two weird buttons. Mm -hmm. 
Like, I don't the know options what, in the share. Well, whatever be starting well, select. Is, yeah, because yeah. we're just I'm, we're I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to get used to it. Select is the biggest button on any controller of all time. Because play because because <laughs> PlayStation named the two things. Microsoft didn't even name them. They're just like they ones, have a, one's menu and one. But they're just little squiggly yeah. lines. Just so like start select. it's starting select. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, Microsofts are a lot better designed. I I've been noticing it the more I've been the longer I've had the PS4 now. The share button, I understand, because you don't want to accidentally yeah. hit that one. Start button, a little bit more necessary. But the options button, that one is kind of bad, mm -hmm. what they did. That's what I was complaining about uh, last week. I didn't well. notice it last week, though. Mm -hmm. Now that you pointed it out, it's like all I can fun like, fucking focus on. I'm like, why did they just have, staring at it? Why did they, I'm like, why, why are you there? Do this? Why Once are you, you there? do it to like, muscle memory almost, though, right up from the um, square... It is almost a straight shot up. That's the only reason I remember. Because usually I'm used to, you know, Xbox controller. Kind of like lazily throwing your thumb yeah. over. And but you now find it because it's straight it's up. Yeah. yeah. Now it's a little bit, uh, I guess, you know, muscle memory kind of thing. Yeah, that's my one complaint on the DualShock. The DualShock 4 is really good, too. And they they really kicked the shit out of the, the DualShock 3. Okay. They, We're going to get into that a little bit more uh, um, yeah, for later. For, for me, um, I am so scared about breaking this controller. Because I'll never be able to replace it. You know what? I, I think I want to go buy another one just to leave this one in a drawer. It says oh, on because it, the day, day one, one 2013. And I'll never be able... Like, they should have put that a little thing on the console and left the controller alone. I'm <laughs> so worried about damaging this controller. They knew. This is a and, and, and like, controller. Right yeah, there. I'm like, God they damn it. Um, it felt very weird to me at first. Um, it did take me some time. Probably no more than like 30, 40 minutes. To become comfortable with it, just like anything new, it, it takes a little bit of time um, to to kind of get the the feel for it. The, the weight distribution feels really good. Um, I don't miss the battery pack on the bottom. The headset, plugging in the headset is a little awkward um, because it's this big, bulky the puck adapter again? now. Yeah, back uh -huh. to the puck. Yeah, and that's, that's going back in time. The whole the whole like face of the puck, if you will. Is three buttons. There's mute, volume up, volume down, right on the puck. Okay, and it's nice because when you hit mute, it lights up or orange. But when you go to plug it in, you know you've got the two uh, hand grips on the side here, so you want to naturally hold it like this to plug it in. But when you do, you're hitting buttons then already. So I'm trying to still figure out how to plug that in comfortably. That is also funny because uh, I don't know. Did anyone have the original headset? Does anyone remember the I've original seen puck? A million of them. By okay, all. the original puck was. Mute. This is back in 2006. what six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it had the little, the little wheel. It had the wheel for volume, and it had the mute or on button. Mm -hmm. So now it's. I have to physically look at it again. Mm -hmm. But so it sounds like they've gone back yeah. to that. Which technically, I actually like that more in the beginning as well. And I actually hated when it went I up hated, to your yeah. Because my shirt level. would always bump the the volume control. Yeah, that um, too. So I'm glad it is back in the pot because I, I did prefer that originally. Other other than that, the the controller is nice. I did not realize. I don't know if you've looked at yours. It's got two infrared sensors mm -hmm. on it. I've seen them. That, that, and it's and it's unlike, uh, and I know you'll get to it later, but and I have an experience, but unlike the Sony thing, it's not overwhelmingly bright or anything like that. It's a nice dull little little mm. red flicker because I'm looking, what the fuck is that? My one other thing <laughs> I was like, I'm blind! Neither of you had actually uh, answered was, uh, how do you like the vibrating triggers? I was gonna get to that with Forza. Um, games. Yeah, I, I've I, I'll, okay. I'll 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 talk about it now because I've I've only experienced it very minimal in, in Dead Rising. Okay. Um, I really really want to play Forza, but I'm unfortunately not gonna be able to this week now because Tony's got to go after this. But uh, I really want to see how it feels. Um, the the little bit that I felt felt really cool. I forgot that it was there. Mm -hmm. So then I started playing Dead Rising, and obviously it's in a car. Um, and it, it went off and what the fuck you know like it, it caught me off guard yeah. for a second it, it really did um, the little bit that I've felt so far I've liked I want to see more of it good to hear so I guess we'll move on the overall interface of the console uh, is it a big improvement from the it's 360 it's a fucking mess dude it's a mess it is, the, it is obvious like, like obvious the worst part of the, the Xbox One it's all a mess can you explain like the layout like, of it? Like you can't close anything. You have to like shut off the system or switch apps. You you can't stop a game. You can't like stop 3DS. a game anymore. It's kind of like the 3DS. Even though it, 3DS also gives you the option to close it, 
but it only allows one application at a time, and then you have to close the other. Well, one. no, the Xbox can multitask, but okay. like, like you you can't just stop a game. There, there is a way to close it. I don't know if you found it yet. It's hidden. Everything's hidden. Uh, the other thing that pisses me off, you have to sign. There is no auto sign in. Every really? single time. You have to manually you have to sign s- in everything. No, it knows who you are, but you have to hit a button or say Xbox sign in. Mine doesn't. <sighs> Your Xbox auto signs you in. How? The connect? I swear to God. <laughs> I well, sit I down on the couch, I turn the Xbox on, it comes on, scans me. Hello, Jason. Okay, well, I don't do all that. So. Yeah. But you, there's no way to... Before, you could have just... You could have picked. You go, yes. Oh, there's more. There's more. The, 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 it's, it's, it's all in shambles. And I think the first update will help because I think whoever designed it was like... You could see the ideas were good, but they just forgot, like... Such basic stuff where it's just like you're, you're like, sign in is pretty why no, would you no, do the, this? The most glaring omission, and I don't know if Tony's missed it, and it's because it's in the menus. You cannot access your hard drive. Really? To see how much how much space. I you couldn't. Have. I couldn't find settings That's for. Awful. I couldn't find console settings for like fifteen minutes. Yeah. I was like, where the fuck is it? It's in games and apps. Really? Yeah. For settings. Because mm-hmm. there's there's only okay. There's only three screens. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, there's... Pins? Yeah. On the left of... The, you, well, state. sorry. You have home, which is a fucking nightmare, because you, if I can't really... You have the main screen, which is whatever is active. Mm-hmm. Okay? And then, around that, you have, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever, however many it is, tiles that change depending on what you've had open. Like yeah. last, like most mm-hmm. recently, kind yeah. of like PS4-ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but PS4, you could keep scrolling and get to your other stuff. It, it With Xbox, it. you can't. If it's not those last four things you've done, you now have to go into your applications or you have to go into your games. Mm-hmm. or Everything's or, like a mess. Or you pin it. You, you pin can it. only pin a few things. Mm-hmm. And then to the left of the home screen is your pin, which is nice that it's right there. Pin was a good feature yeah. when it got added. It, it really is. They still didn't fix the fucking problem that pisses me off. Is they combined Xbox video and music. They're two separate little squares that you have to click. But if you unpin one, it unpins both of them. Because they're linked in the. I, I and I mean I understand, but it's still annoying. No, no, you know because it's taking up it's taking up an extra square. I guarantee on my, my most pin. people will only care about one. Most people won't care about mm-hmm. both. And I don't want music. Is... I don't. I don't. I, there, I have no intentions of ever listening to music on my Xbox. They probably added that in thing. last minute because that of, was on the 360. I just meant like they would throw the uh, the, the music onto the. Uh, the, the default yeah. setup right away. Because yeah. as, as it was kind of hidden in 360. I, I, like, of course, it sounds like we're totally bashing this thing, and it's not worthy It's just the, the interface. It's just You're the interface, which will be complete with it. It's just, I find it, I find it sad. This. Oh, yeah. I love the 360s better, and that's sad because I despise the newest, the last two years of the 360s mm-hmm. interface. Mm-hmm. The 360 is better than the Xbox One. This one and it interface almost feels like a combination of blades and tiles together. The way that it it works, it's fucking it, yeah. broken and weird. It is. This it's sounds very, weird. Like uh, weird. one clear thing to me is the mem- not being able to. You cannot under any circumstances. That is, you can. Look at how much an individual game or app takes up, mm-hmm. but you can't access your your hard drive. That's to, what I'm saying. It's just, individual it's, files. Oh. It's just weird, like how they did that's stuff. Got to be so. There's no. That, that's got to be that, something. That's that they a missed. glaring problem mm-hmm. to me. That, that's that's something that would huge, yeah. huge, huge, huge. I think huge. it was just like oversight, uh, just trying to get this thing out on time. And now I think that that's one screen. When the community starts. Yeah. Being like, hey, come on, fix this. No, it'll, 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 Microsoft's real good. They'll yeah, take care of yeah. it in a couple updates. I don't know but. if you've seen this, but when you open up some of the tiles and you go to scroll through, the tiles light up with a white outline. Mm-hmm. There's a weird flicker that happens on some of them. It's probably like a pulsing? Or yeah. No? Like, no, like, like a flicker. Oh, it's like, like a flicker? A, yeah. Okay. Like one side of the little tile will flicker almost. Like a tear almost. Strange. Really weird. Have you, have you seen that at all? No? Now you're going to look. 
Yeah. And you'll find fu- you'll fucking see it, and it'll annoy the piss out of you. You know what's sad? Okay, so was, uh, here's because a good... of Doctor Who, you said the tear, and it's the 50th anniversary, and yeah, Doctor, yeah. wake me up when this is over. Uh, Brian, when he's watching one, this, will know the one great thing about the ref- the one great thing I, I have to give him a positive. It is ridiculously fast. Mm-hmm. It is seamless. It's like it's like your cell phone. It was also coming from the 360, where at that time getting to your pin bar was. 30 seconds sometimes. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, I... A lot of that clutter's gone. A lot... Like, they did... They they, they did make improvements. I'm... This is no, me... This is me grasping at straws. First and foremost, this thing's a game machine for me. It always has been, always will be. All their stuff's whatever. Okay. And the thing plays games very well. Uh, so all this other stuff can get adjusted and all, you know, all that other crap. But uh, right now, uh, it's it's lightning fast. Mm-hmm. It really is. That's good. Lightning. Hope it stays that way. Yeah. I'm gonna get into one last thing. The ads before. and shit are gone. All that stuff. There, there's still there, there's ads in the the game store, but they're for games. Okay. It's it's it's, like in, it's in-house that. ads. It's like, yeah. oh, oh you like this? Yeah, it's, it's not, not it's not like right. you know the they, military. They, it's not like Doritos and shit anymore. I can't remember which console was actually gonna do this. Did any console actually launch with the we'll download stuff that we think you might like? Or was that I, I, a feature that was abandoned? Because that was supposed was to be I think a, okay. I know that was a feature. I think PS4 is going to do that. I can't remember if it was Xbox yeah, I think as well, I, though. Yeah, there was something like recommendations. What I really do like about the interface, I don't know if you've played around with this, is the news feed for what your friends have been doing. Yeah, but I've been used to that because PS4 had Yeah. It. yeah. So that same was the same thing. Really the exact nice. same thing that dropped And then I can pin on, on, a sim- on a page over from my news feed my favorites mm-hmm. friends so I can see when they're specifically online. And then you can cat- you can recategorize it to see all online and everything. It's kind of... You know, There's one thing nice. that brings up, because PS4, in my opinion, is missing this. Can you tell the difference between someone who's got a 1 and a 360? Yes. It, it tells says you it right there. Right on there. Right on there. Mm-hmm. Plus, okay. the games are a dead giveaway. I mean, when they're playing Rise. True. Even, but, like, let's say Netflix. Yeah. All right. It'll say, uh, Andy's playing Netflix. On PS th- uh, on uh, 360. You know, That's I want to see if the reverse holds true because I haven't turned my 360 on since I got. What does Xbox it say one. when I'm on Xbox One? Does it say? <coughs> okay. Oh, it does. It does know. Okay. That's yeah, cool. It says Xbox One. That's very nice because right now the only thing on PS4 that separates that to me is that you cannot send a name request to someone with a PS3. Mm-hmm. That's see, the only thing separate. You cannot it. chat with people on 360. Mm-hmm. That'll be an. No, they cut. They cut that right. I can't remember if that yeah. was a cut or. I, a I don't know if they, if that was announced. Been, we tried yeah. it earlier. We tried it earlier uh, in, in a couple days ago, where I tried to invite him to a party and I couldn't. I can't remember See, if that's going to be an option. The Vita. It's strange that the PS4 does it because the Vita does. Mm. The Vita tells you exactly what they're on if they're on their Vita, their PS3, or their PS4. I only know because of the games. Maybe but. that's just a like you like you were saying about the the hard drive thing. Maybe it's just an omission that they're going to patch it. Yeah, because I'm sure sense. Sony forgot a lot too. I mean, when you stare at something, you can pick out flaws. Totally. No, like when you're working on something and you're staring at it for months and months and months and months, and then this dude comes in out of nowhere and is just like, they're going to see the thing that you keep looking past. Oh yeah. All you're like doing I can't is staring your playroom. at playroom. There's little there's little shit that I miss every week doing the podcast that that yeah, you know huh yeah shit happens. Yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just yeah, saying it's no, human nature. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no. When you're the one working on it, it's very easy vision. to, yeah, yeah, it's very easy to overlook something that somebody will come in When you just added it. 100 features, that one thing that slipped by, because mm-hmm. everyone else was thinking about So I'm sure both of these are going to run an awful lot better. They run great now. This is just me nitpicking. Oh, yeah, definitely. I don't give a fuck about the interface. I can get to everything. I can access everything. It's fine. Yeah, just a few little so. hiccups. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, there's one last thing I wanted to bring up before we get into the actual games of it, and it's the Kinect. Mm-hmm. Did anyone kind of try that out yet? I've been playing with it all week. Uh, I, I see that you canceled your uh, pre-order on your uh, garbage bag and tape, your yes. electrical tape, I believe. Um, I actually turned off the camera functionality. Um, I They did. There's still a lot of problems, and it still doesn't recognize every single thing every time. But it is an excellent... Voice command section. Oh, I was gonna say that even Excellent. the Connect One was doing all right certain games. So you're saying no. This thing for me, I, I clearly I Jason's having different mm-hmm. issues. For me, 
Uh, I've only had it a couple times where it didn't know what I wanted it to do. I'm getting really good at it. Because the Pornhub app is it, now, It's actually, when you're screwed around, you don't need the controller. Like, with the Connect 1, you still needed the controller a lot. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. Like, when I'm doing Netflix, I have my controller off. I did buy a plug-in charge kit, but they included two AA batteries. Does the Connect not support Netflix yet? No, it does. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I'm just saying, like, the plug-in charge kit, uh, I haven't even opened yet, because I'm going to kill the two AA batteries that they included first. Um... So, the controller, when I'm... You can't see what your battery life is anymore, either. Probably just you know how you used to hit the button, and it would show you how much your battery was? Can't see it. Yeah. It's not there. Gone. Sorry. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, like, when I'm just going to be watching some Netflix or whatever, I actually just have my controller off and leave it. Uh, sometimes, I, like, when I knew I was going to watch Netflix... Mm. I don't even use my controller to turn it on. I just go Xbox on, it turns on. Uh, then I then I say snap, snap to Netflix, scroll. You can do everything. Scroll right, page right, page right, page right. Uh, down, select, play. You know what I mean? Pause, go. You, you, like, you don't even need it unless you're playing a game. Uh, to me, the voice command, uh, as much... You guys have been watching the show for two years, and I, I've been doubting this thing like crazy. Uh, for me, so far... The voice is working ridiculously well. Uh, I don't touch the camera at all. Uh, I pretty much used it for the setup and turned it off because uh, I'm not going to play games with this thing ever. Uh, I don't care how... It's just not my thing. You know, yeah. I'm not going to dance around in front of my TV. I play with a controller. Yeah. Uh, so I don't need the camera. I don't need it to see me. I don't need it to... Do anything. There's no fucking reason for it. It's, it's just, not collecting data. But the voice. But the voice. The vo I don't care about that. Like I'm not doing anything weird in my room. Yeah. That I don't. I don't give a fuck. Uh, it's just I don't need it. Uh, I'd rather the, the voice stuff. I'm. I, it's actually still plugged into my Xbox. I think I'm gonna use it. I like it a lot. Good. I ended up using my ninety nine percent of why I had an original Connect after the one. 10 minutes I had session with it was voice man. So. The best the best thing is is when it is dark, I don't even know if the Connect 2 works in the dark. But <laughs> the voice command does. Yeah. So when I'm just laying in my bed at night watching, you know, I pause or yeah. you know, back out, let's scroll over here and watch this or something. You don't have to do this shit in front of the camera to waving make, your hand left to and wake right it up. To, 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 make, to wake it up or to uh, slide. To slide. All you have to say is Xbox and the the, the cam the the Whatever the speakers are listening, mm. you know. So, so like, then you give it its command. It's got like fifty some commands currently. Fifty one. Yeah. Where, uh, you know, then you tell. I was just what, reading them earlier. Yeah. So then, then you tell what you want it to do, and that's fine. So all you have to say is Xbox, and then you command it. So I, on the other hand, have had a horrible, horrible experience with the Kinect so far. Um, mine will not turn on when you say Xbox on. Mm -hmm. I have the feature. Activated because you can you know deactivate it will not turn on. Okay, um, if I'm sitting in my living room and nobody else is around and no other sound, it works. Uh, I have mine hooked up to my satellite, so I I have currently have it where it streams the TV through it. Uh, when the TV's playing, I can't get it to, to register anything. If I have a game playing because of the volume, and I've recalibrated it three times now to the volume, can't get it to work. It's got to be silent for it to work for me. Strange. So that I don't. Sucks. Yeah, I don't know if it if I have a faulty connect or not. Um, I'm gonna continue to play with it uh, a little bit longer, and then I'll probably reach out and contact yeah, Microsoft in a week from now if it's still not functioning properly. See so um, patches come on. The funny thing is, is uh, like I was saying earlier, is my connect auto logs me in to my yeah. face. Okay. Um, Friday night, I set up my girlfriend's profile so she could watch TV because I have it. Again, patched to the TV. So currently, <laughs> won't the, log her the only you no, can't watch no, TV. the only way to watch my TV right now is you have to power on my Xbox. I have a switch coming mm. um, because I do like the feature. I don't want to disconnect it, but I don't want people touching my Xbox to watch my TV. Um, anyways, so I'm setting up a profile and it's doing the facial recognition, and it worked fine. And then uh, yesterday, I'm sitting there, and my dog jumps up on the couch and sits down, and it logs her in. <laughs> Because he was in the background when she created her profile. Uh. 
So, so Xbox was a dick. So my Xbox, and I thought it was a fluke. Yeah. Later on in the day, he walks by. Hello, Kimberly. I'm like, what the fuck? No, 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 no. You guys set it up wrong. Mm-mm. Yeah, huh? Because when I did it, the one time my camera worked, it, it showed a picture of me, and there's a clear arrow. My two dogs were with mm-hmm. me in the picture. Yeah, I'm and saying. It's like, is this you? That's what I'm saying. Is I think, well. Uh, you guys might have had it over Sammy. That's what I'm saying. Is as Sammy was sitting next to her, and I didn't realize. That okay. I yeah. yeah. Lost that's hilarious, dog though. Again. Yeah, it's. I'll, I'll see if I can get. If you want to stick around yeah. for a minute afterwards, I'll see if I can get it to do it with Sammy on the couch. Um, other than that, yeah. My and here's and here's the thing. I know we're gonna get into the game reviews really quick. There are two games that I have that use voice command. One being Rise. One being Dead Rising. They work flawlessly. Oh, I, I didn't even use any of the voice commands. Flawlessly. I only use it to nav the... Mm-hmm. And, and, and I know we're going to segue into it in a second. Um, in Rise, you have to say, fire volley, fire catapult. Mm-hmm. You can either help hold down, left button, and let this little bar fill, and it'll do it automatically. Or you can hit left button and say the command. And it works instantaneously. Give it I a shot. I haven't even tried. Give it a shot. I just hold the button. Down. Yeah. Honestly, it was my favorite feature of the Connect one. I got Angry Andy. Andy. I got Angry Andy to talk to the Connect, and it worked for him too. Nice. Did it not? Voice commands. It's good. Certain huh? games did it way better. Um, I do you have the TV on there? Talking about any of the TV functions? Yeah, uh, yeah. You can go right into okay. it. I was uh, actually do it for interface, but okay. yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I didn't. All right. Get um, before. it it was very easy to connect to. Um, it did not have my brand of TV listed on there. I have an insignia, which is uh, Best Buy's generic brand. Um, but as soon as I typed it in, it recognized it, controlled the volume on the TV, was able to mute the TV, uh, detected my satellite box. Fine. I haven't figured out how to pull up my DVR that's built into my satellite mm-hmm. on it. But as far as the uh, pause, play, rewind, that works great. Nice. I haven't seen any issues with any type of frame rate or or anything that was a possibility. Nothing. It's worked phenomenal. Nice. Tony, did you hook up anything? I hooked it up to my TV, not to my, uh, I don't have cable, so, but uh, I have a Sony smart TV, so it picked it up, it found Mm -hmm. it immediately. Yeah. Like, just like Jason said, Mm -hmm. it controls the volume real well, the mute real well, inputs, you could just... Do whatever the fuck you want. I, so I, I also I also have it hooked up to my soundbar, but I don't know because my soundbar is kind of weird the way that it works. I don't know if it's actually communicating with it or not. Kind of weird. I'll get it later, don't but I live. It's a generic one. It's cheap. It's hundred bucks. <laughs> Sounds good. Works. There you go. Uh, Sorry. No, that's yeah. You're TV, TV they, works so, fine. So, I don't. Do you have anything going into that HDMI in? No. That can solve one of your port problems. Yeah, but there's the, the delay. Have, there's there's people that say there's delay, and then there's people that say there isn't. I've witnessed the delay. Have you? Yeah, and videos about it. Try, try it with your Xbox. They were 360. See what it does. No, it's all right. If anything, I'd use it for like something that didn't matter with delay. Like, like if you were keeping my like tablet little, yeah. or like something like that. There you that, go. Yeah, your that, tablet would work. That's Yeah, that's something that... Maybe I'd use the HDMI in for, but uh, anything video game related, no. There's there's like a half second delay. Did you see the Inception? And I play a lot of platformers that'll destroy me. Did you see the Inception? Where it was an Xbox One hooked into an Xbox One. Oh, yeah. That was a one very one cool looking image. Yeah. And then he's like, Xbox, home. And it's like... Really? It was, it was like a mirror. It was, yeah. it was again, it was a like mirror. looking yeah. at a mirror straight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It was yeah. cool. And then, of course, the one that I posted on our Facebook page, which was, I'm just sitting here. Playing my PS4 on my Xbox One, and it's a picture of the PS4 interface inside the Xbox One. So, time to move on to some games. Ah, oh, mm-hmm. mean potatoes. So first off, what was the very first thing you went and played? Rise. Uh, I had anticipated it would be Forza, but um, it, the reviews scared me. Uh, I'm lucky I work at a video game store, so in the event I did not like Rise. Or just thought it was mediocre. Uh, I was going to just tear through it in a couple days and, you know, kind of bring it back. Uh, So I wanted to knock that out ASAP. I knew I'd like Forza, so I I didn't mind waiting a little bit. Uh, Turns out I 
loved Rise, but we'll talk about the reviews later. Oh. But that's what that was. That was my reviews now. That was we our reviews right now. That was that was my that was my logic behind throwing Rise in before Forza because I actually wanted Forza to be the first Xbox One game I played, but it just didn't work out that way. It ended up being the second game. Um, Really, really quick, I completely because I know you got the same things that I did. Did you do any of the QR codes yet? Yeah, the QR. That's another thing. <laughs> great, yeah, freaking great. great. It's yeah, really for the, cool. yeah, for all the codes. The only one that it wouldn't take is the fourteen day free trial that they give you because I guess they don't let it stack anymore. No, no, they stop one. that. Yeah, yeah. fuckers. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. That's like one of the best things about the Connect. Yeah. I mean, it's just like boom, and it's done. Yeah. And it has your shit, and it starts downloading it. It's fucking ridiculous. It's yeah. really good. Sorry, I just I wanted to add that. No, in. yeah, uh, I, I forgot about that feature as well. So, I'll start with Forza because I'm the only one that's played it, so we'll knock that out. <laughs> yeah, and then me and Jason could both chime in about Rise. Uh, it is up until I popped Forza in. Uh, Killzone Shadowfall was the best looking next gen game. Uh, oh, you're gonna get me so hard. They are. I don't know which one looks better. Uh, I played most of the first party titles from both Sony and Microsoft now. Uh, and I've seen them all. I mean, I'm assuming none of the, the multi-plats can hang. Like, I doubt Madden is the one that's going to look the best. I yeah. Mean, you know what I mean? So uh, Those first party, like, homemade yeah. games are going to be the best. Uh, Forts is definitely the best looking three, uh, Xbox One game, and Killzone is by far the best PS4 looking game, but uh, it's close. Uh, I don't know which one. Like, it's just so so different because, you know, Killzone's like a muddy shooter, and Forts is all about, like, look at this fucking car. Uh, they're the look how real this shit yeah. looks. But it's it's insane what they do to Forza. Like when it's in a garage, like they had a little bit of this in Forza Four, but not like how they have it in Five. Like the light you system. you can see the like the the illumination from the the rows of lights and stuff glaring up. Like it's it's ridiculous. Oh god, damn it! It is so pretty. Uh, Give me minutes. Forza is it's it's really fun. I understand what a lot of the people were complaining about, but I don't think it's justified in some of the scores it got. Well, well, the scores are really good. It, it got a lot of eights and stuff, but. Um, Eights and nines, but the people that knocked it down knocked it down because the size of the garage uh, that you're able to get was not as big as Forza 4. Of course not. Uh, these cars take a long time to make. They only have like 200, whereas Forza 4, by the time all the it DLC... started with 250. No, it like, started with 400, I no, think. No, you are right. Yeah, I'm thinking of the... Uh, it had, it had, it had about... A little over 600 cars when it was all said and done. And they're like, well, why doesn't this one have like 800? It's like, no, it doesn't work that way. Uh, Forza, they got to carry over the tech from Forza 2 to Forza 3 to Forza 4. So some of the cars were already made. You know what I mean? They just had to them. make them a little bit better looking because they got to know the hardware better and then add more cars. They had to start from scratch with this. So Turn 10 did an excellent job. And they don't they didn't pull a Gran Turismo where... Like, here's 600 cars, but we only really detailed 150 of them. All of these are the same. They're ridiculously detailed inside and out. You can auto vist them. You can walk across the all the Jeremy cars. Jeremy Clarkson? Hmm? Jeremy Clarkson? Yeah. You can you can pop hoods. You can pop trunks. You can see, like, they have, like, the intricacies of all the stitching and, like, the, the padding on everything. Uh, you know, you walk up to the wheels and check out the rotors. And, and the it's 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 amazing what they did with that game. Uh it's gorgeous. It's a lot of fun. It plays very similarly to Forza 4, which is not a bad thing because that's the best race car game ever made. Um, How would you rank it compared to Forza 4? <laughs> it's about the same but better looking, just less cars. That's why I don't understand what... Like, I get it, but I, I just don't think, like, you could take a game that's probably a 10 and knock it down to an 8 or 7.5 because the garage well, is they've also they've also announced the season pass for it, which will release more tracks and more vehicles. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they've said how many. Uh, 61. 61 more cars? Mm -hmm. uh, That's not bad. You're getting, you're getting uh, 10 or 6 map packs. Uh, so probably like 10 cars you're per... Getting 10, you're getting 10 per, but if you get the season pass, they throw in the La Ferrari, <laughs> which is the brand new uh, supercar from Ferrari. Okay. Uh, so that's a 61st vehicle. Ace likes Forza. Mm, me too. Mm, Ace is yeah. a smart dog. Uh, it's really, really good. Uh, it really is. It's, it's good stuff. Nice. That's so all yeah. I got for you. Oh, the the, the rumble. Uh, yeah. I'm saving it for this. Um, 
I forgot all about it because I was playing Rise. And Rise doesn't have the trigger uh, rumbling. Um, <coughs> so um, when it happened, I was like, I, I like remembered. I was like, oh yeah, that's fucking right. It is so cool. And it's not, it doesn't just pulse. Like, um, like when you take a turn, like just because you're accelerating, it doesn't just sit there and shake the right trigger because that would get really old really fast. And when you're braking, it doesn't just shake the left uh, trigger uh, like steadily. You know what I mean? If you're like a, a really well paved piece of road and you're accelerating, it'll just shake a little at first when you're first picking up speed and then it smooths out. Uh, but then if you like take a corner too sharp and you start hitting a little bit of the rubber mm. um, or some grass or some, that's when it really, it's, it's like feedback. Yeah. It's really cool. It's really, really cool what they did with it. Really makes me want to kind of try one of the shooters just to see how they've incorporated that. I didn't buy any shooters. Yeah, for I, it, so. I didn't either, but maybe, maybe a good rental or something, you yeah. know, try to try a battlefield to call of duty, see how that, you know, that trigger feels yeah. with that. So, oh, so that's Forza. Forza is really good. It could have used more cars, sure, but you can't knock a I'm, game I'm down. I'm hoping to get it this week. I really am. It's good game. Which will uh, I'll jump into the it's one. Good. I'll, I'll jump into the one game that I've played that you haven't, and then we'll both talk about Rise. Let's uh, do, that. do that. I picked up Rise, obviously, and uh, Left for Dead. Um, up to Dead Rising. Jesus Christ. Say. Jesus Christ. Um, <sighs> Dead Rising. Not doing it for you? No. Um, it's it's I kind of miss that. I, mean, I know the humor is still there, but yeah. it's very greatly reduced. I would say. I I guess I, I wasn't a huge fan of Dead Rising one. I revisited the franchise with two, and I really enjoyed two because two was ridiculously over the top. You know, with the American gladiators, and then being in Las Vegas, everything's bright and vibrant. Uh, a big contrast to. You know the palettes of the zombies and everything. Now the purples. Yeah. Now you're in an open world that's destroyed, and I mean, so far it looks good. It's very bleak looking. Um, you, there are so many zombies within like the first five minutes of the game. There's yeah. so many zombies, and there's a lot of glitches too. Um, Angry Andy was able to, because you you can do like a, a quick roll, like mm -hmm. an evade. He was able to evade over the hood of a car. Very weird. And he found two sticks of dynamite. One went off, blew up a whole horde of zombies. Spectacular. One came flying at him over his head and everything. Threw the other stick the other way. It went off and no zombies. Right in the middle of them. Um, you can pick up a hubcap and throw a hubcap into a crowd of zombies and 15 zombies fall down. You throw a motorcycle engine, two zombies fall down. So there's some inconsistencies. Okay. My biggest issue with the game is it seems to me that they've moved up the character closer to the screen. I've noticed that. So it is... takes up more room, which means you have to navigate that camera more. Yeah. Which doesn't really work in that kind of game. You kind of want something fixed. Nice. You want something fixed, but that you can then move if you like freely if you want. And you're kind of forced to keep adjusting the camera on this. And the character controls extremely loose. Sluggish. There's n too fast. Too fast. It feels fast. almost too fast, right? Uh -huh. Almost too fast. Um, you jump from hood to hood to hood cars to, to navigate through a, a field of zombies, and your character's very floaty, and it just it doesn't feel right. Yeah. I'm only I've only played it once. Uh, I think Angry Andy got up to the exact same point where I, I first died. And I was like, after the first death, I'm like, all right, I'm done for now. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm going to try it out a couple more times. I don't know if it's a keeper. Okay. Um, I really, really wanted it to be good. But... Yeah. Honestly, everything you brought up, though, is uh, Creatures were, of course, streaming it. And uh, I had every single point you brought up, mm. floaty, camera's too close, um, not wide enough mm. of an angle. Uh, I, I came up with those exact same things yeah. just watching it. So. Yeah, it just, it it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel, especially when you have this phenomenal precision controller in your hand, it doesn't feel accurate. It feels very, it feels up upscaled from a, a 360 game. Okay. Um, visually, it's it's good. I haven't seen any major problems there with it. There seemed to be a, a lot yeah. of good can, like uh, variety in the zombies mm -hmm. from what I saw. I thought that was very impressive. I've only seen a couple so far because I'm not very far. Yeah. Um, 
you know, and of course they kind of th- just throw you in and let you go. There's no time limit. Yeah. So, I mean, that's cool. There's a story, a loose story so far, at least at this point. Um, the character's cool. Yeah, he, he's Daryl Dixon. That's yeah. that, you know, that's, uh, you no longer have to go to a workbench to, to craft. Um, it's a little bar that pops yeah. up that you just got to wait for it to finish. Um, that's a save system. Yeah. Well, no, there's a, there's bathrooms. You're yeah. saving a bathroom. And yeah. Porta potties. The vehicle stuff, vehicles are very floaty also, kind of, you know, but then they were in Dead Rising 2 also, so. I, not not a huge. I wouldn't consider this next gen. It's not that next okay. gen feel for the franchise. Okay. I also bought Dead Rising, but it's still in the cell phone. I haven't played it yet, so. Okay. I have no thoughts. Um, so we got. It. I did do a little Killer Instinct, which was free. Okay. Um, you get one character. Yeah. Um, this is just one more, I think, because the day one edition. There was no code. Weird. Nothing. I know that was supposed. No, 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 no. That was day one Xbox Live Gold. Mm-hmm. You had to buy another year. Oh, you that's know what that, I got. You know yeah. that metal fucking. Oh yeah. yeah. That's what? what I got. Yeah. That's how you got the extra character. Angry Andy received an email from Microsoft, which gave him uh, the ultimate edition of the game, which unlocked all four characters. Lucky right off the bat. So he was able, and he does not have an Xbox One currently. He was able to go on the Microsoft uh, website. Redeem the code and then upload it on my system. I don't know if that's gonna unlock it for me too, since his profile's on the system. Yeah. That's something that we have we haven't tried yet. Okay. But uh, uh, it's it's good. Uh, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing in it because it's it's Killer Instinct, and um, I, it's bare bones. But I mean, it's free, so yeah, I'm not definitely. gonna complain. Uh, it'll be something that I'll throw on every once in a while. It's not. It's not a system seller. I, I'm, it does not live up to the hype that I, that I was anticipating for it. Yeah, it's cool, it. but it's very bare bones. Okay. Some cool unlockables, some cool customization. Um, beyond that, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I would I wouldn't spend like on DLC like to buy the game. Like there's the forty dollar pack. I would never buy that. I maybe twenty dollars. And that's okay. the other thing. Well, there's Killer Instinct, Crimson Dragon, Power Shot Golf. Is that what it's called? And yeah. Loco Cycle, which are the only four things up on the store. And they're all 20 bucks, with the exception of Killer Instinct, but if you really want to play Killer Instinct, you have to pay at least 20 bucks. Yeah. 20 bucks is kind of expensive. And, and, no fucking Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft missed day one of both systems. Yeah. The fuck? I fucking the Minecraft. Day put on there. I don't know. Tony, did you do Killer Instinct? I downloaded it, didn't have time. Okay. What uh, what's, so what games we left with uh, then? We right, we got Rise. Rise. We got Rise. That's your only other one you played too, Tony. I only bought the three games. I bought Rise, Dead Rising, and Forza. And I okay. was only able to get two. Okay, so. sounds good. I'll, Go to Rise. I'm, I'm working on Forza, hopefully. Rise is the shit. High is, five. is a very unexpected gem. Uh, another game that I like. I was talking about contrast. In part one, another game that saw mediocre reviews. Nobody really hated it. Nobody really loved it. Uh, I am thoroughly enjoying Rise. Rise, the best way I can explain it to somebody who hasn't played it is uh, it's it's takes a lot from God of War, but it's set in Roman times, which I find fascinating. Uh, I know three, uh, myself included, I know two other people who bought Rise, Jason being one of them. And I was actually talking back and forth with uh, Andrew Dillon a bit on uh, Xbox uh, this past week, and he picked up Rise as well. And uh, he said the same thing me and Jason are saying. It's it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't get it. Everybody was like, six, six, six. It's like, the game's a fucking blast. It's Take. really pretty. It's a lot of fun. It controls mm-hmm. real well. Like people, people are like, "Oh, there's only three buttons." It's a button smasher. It's it's a it's a beat 'em up. It's a yeah. hack. It's a hack and slash. That's what the game is. Uh, the QTEs that everybody was freaking out about are gone. Mm. Well, no, they're, they're gone. They're color coded, though. Yeah, but they're still there. They're, no, they disguise for 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 your I executions. That's considered a QTE. It is so QTE. But here, here's they here's, disguise them. Nice. Here, here's something really quick about it. Right, is I was playing the game, and I I'm I think I'm just a little bit farther than Tony is, and I was like, okay, I've seen all the executions. They're cool. 
And then Angry Andy came over, and he was playing, and then he unlocked his first set of upgrades. And I didn't realize this first fucking giant box on the screen is executions. You can get more executions. Mm. So I've been upgrading my character with all his stats and everything, but I didn't unlock any of the executions. So the whole time that he's playing, he's, he's getting all cool different shit, shit that I'm getting. You want to go um, finger the button? Um, so yeah, I mean, if, if I can really quick, uh, it's got the it's got Call of Duty esque visuals set in Roman times. There's just shit going on everywhere. You know, you are a part of a war. Um, yeah, it's just a small little thing. Mm-hmm. You're like in this one little battle with these three dudes. There's explosion. Everything's going on around you. The combat to me felt almost. Legend of Zelda-esque, as far as the sword play. You know, you've got a couple of standard attacks and everything that you do. Then you go into some really cool executions. Um, then you've got a combo system on top of that. So it's actually layered pretty well. Uh, I I think the only negative that I've seen out of Rise is um, the enemies and the scenery gets a little repetitive. But then, right when, and again, I don't know how far you are... Right when you kind of get bored of looking at the same environments, you go to a different area, and it's completely different. I went through a fucking jungle already. There's a jungle in the game. I have not played that. That looks that looks awesome. Um, it's how many chapters? Eight. Eight. And they're about hour or so a piece. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how the replayability is going to be on. Mm. But so far, I'm enjoying it. We're, we're probably going to have Angry Andy sit up all night and beat it tonight. Um, that's what I really think it is. I think it's a mash of a Call of Duty kind of campaign that controls like God of War with the same kind of stuff as God of War has. Uh, but I, th- I think the Call of Duty reference is really good because mm-hmm. the the set pieces and all the action that's continuously going on around you. It's it's a lot of adrenaline. It's like mm-hmm. you you guys know how those games are. They're they're fun. They're, yeah. they're fun to play. They're fun to look at. They're fun. To, you know why do you think Call of Duty sells so well every fucking year? You know what I mean. It, it, we we bash it, but they're you know it's it's exciting. It's it's a whatever. Yeah, it's a rush. Some, yeah, adrenaline rush. It's a rush. Um, it's did you get to do any multiplayer? No, fuck that. I haven't mean, either. I don't give a shit. I'll try it. I'll try it. Maybe I'll, I'll get on there with Andrew I'll, Dillon. I'll try for you. Th- I'll yeah. try for three minutes and hate it. I don't. Know, it, it it could be cool. I mean, from what I understand, it's kind of like a horde mode. But who knows. I'll, I'll beat the campaign, then I'll check it out. Yeah. Speaking of Andrew Dillon, I'll jump right into that. He had one question for you guys. What is the worst change they made on the Xbox One? Um, I'm sure it's all coming soon. This is like, it's not even a complaint, because I don't care. It's just, this is the only way I can answer your question. It doesn't even bother me personally. It, it doesn't even have everything the 360 has. Um, Do you have any examples? Like a Comcast app. Okay. Um, like Even better, like, HBO Go was supposed yeah, to be a launch. HBO Go, stuff like well, that. Like, like I'm sure I'm sure this stuff's all coming very soon, and yeah. I can live without it, because I didn't get rid of my 360 or my PS3 or my PS4. Every, I have a way to do everything I want to do. Uh Simple stuff, like I was saying earlier with like the auto sign-in yeah. and weird shit like that. It's just, um, it's a lot of little things, but none of it really bothers me. I don't care. I'm too, like, the, the thing is, I'm still utilizing my 360 for pretty much all my streaming now because, uh, yep. it's, it's not all there. It's because like with the 360, it's different. It's like, well, I'm bored of Netflix. Let me hop on HBO Go. Well, I'm bored of this. Let me go catch up on the Comcast Xfinity app. Okay, I'm bored of this. Let me go check out the CW. Where on Xbox, if you get bored of Netflix, you have to turn it off anyway to still go back to your 360 to do whatever the fuck you were doing. So I understand that, yeah. Uh, I end up just streaming it mostly for my 360 because everything's right there. You just click out and go to do whatever else you want to do. Mm-hmm. But it really it doesn't bother me, and I don't think they messed it up. I don't think they botched anything. It's just it's not available yet. That's okay. all. Kind of a segue what he was saying, and I know I bitched about it a little bit, but I was in part one, but I was really, really... Looking forward to the the Twitch live streaming right out of the box with the system. Um, And then three days before, they announced it wasn't there. Um, Yeah, very late. The candles are I really hope, uh, you know, my my connect works uh, and then it's not defective and I'm just doing something wrong. I don't know. I I don't have enough time with it. Yeah. Um, 
Other than that, like Tony said, there's a, there's a couple of very simple apps that are glaring omissions. Uh, HBO Go being one of them. That was the biggest one to me that I noticed. And, and it's on the list of what was supposed to be launch day apps, and I don't see it. So um, like I was just like looking at the apps. There's like 10 apps available on the, on the Xbox One. There's like, there's, like, there's like 80 on the 360. Yeah. Most of them I don't give a shit about, like oh. Crunchyroll or stuff yeah. like that, but there's a t- Ton of apps on the 360. Yeah, that, that should have been the very Xbox. easy. Portals. There's no, there's no History Channel app. There's no. It's just a streaming app. It's like yeah. you know, mm-hmm. they should be there, but it's not. Especially right. when they're the the focus, like they're pushing it as a multimedia machine. And I would have expected a little bit more out of it. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't even do what the 360 does. Okay. So, yeah. um, the next thing is, what is your, I guess, next game you'd like to purchase? Your most exciting that has yet to come out yet. Well, that's more the question. Do you have one? The Order. The Order. But that's, I don't know if that's multi-platform. That's PS4 or multi-platform. Is this multi-platform? Wait, I thought it was No, no, you're right. It's, it's, it's a only. Sony exclusive. Never mind. Yeah. Either way, that is my most anticipated game. But uh, Xbox-wise, uh, I'm really curious about Titan. Well, you take that one. I'm actually really curious about Titanfall. Uh, I think that's the shooter that might get me back into competitive multiplayer shooter because... Uh, uh, you know, playing like actually playing online for more than two or three days, which is what most shooters turn into. I beat the campaign, I level up to round ten, I play each of the maps once or twice. I'm like, okay, I get it, and I move on to the next game. Uh, I haven't really been into a shooter since fucking yeah. like maybe Halo Reach. That was like the last game that I like seriously sunk hours into leveling up a bit. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, I want to see if it lives up to all the hype because uh, so far I've heard nothing but amazing things from the people that played that game. And uh, I trust the guys that made that game over a lot of shooting companies. Uh, so I'm curious to see what they've been working on since uh, they left Infinity Ward and had that fallout with uh, Activision. I'm really curious to see what it's like. Um, easy answer is Watch Dogs. That was supposed to be a launch title. Got mm-hmm. delayed. Really want to get my hands on that. Uh, but more so, um, Pints vs. Zombies Garden Warfare got a uh, release date Did? of February 14th. Uh, so oh, I think. That's still far away. Uh, February 18th, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so I think after I pick up Forza, because that's the next logical game for me, um, then my girlfriend and I are picking up Lego um, Marvel uh, once we get a second controller. I've got uh, my 2DS coming with uh, with Zelda and so on and so forth. So that should carry me through until February when I want to play something else on my Xbox One then. So uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. That's my right. answer. That's half the reason I didn't hop into everything immediately either. Is I know I'll get a ton of hours out of Forza just because those games, you never really beat them. They just yeah. keep going and going and going. I think that's that's what I'm looking for uh, now is I want something that's going to have some longevity to it. The only reason I picked up Assassin's Creed is because it's 100 hours. Because so. Titan, or not, uh, uh, Rise, I, I, I love it. I it's don't gonna see be a ten, twelve hour. I, I'm thinking in a week, I'm done. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen, which is why I'm knocking it out first. Yeah, Dead Rising, I think it'll take a little longer for me to beat. If you, if you, yeah, end up we're saying like twenty. Them. So yeah. about twenty for Dead uh, Rising. So then there's that, and by then something else will pop up. Plus, let's let's not forget, I got the PS4 with three or four new games over yeah. there as well. So I I have plenty to play. Yeah. And that's not including the tons of games I'm still getting off PlayStation Plus on the PS3 and yeah. my back catalog, which. At this point, to be honest, is probably never going to get. Yeah, no, probably not. Should I still have uh, Arkham Origins that I haven't touched since the weekend that it came out? I let a buddy borrow it. And now it got worse. I mean, now I have the the Wii U, so I'm I'm waiting for uh, a pre owned copy to come yeah. in so I can use my discount plus the power card and all that other shit. Oh, now you got a 3DS. I use Zelda. I have, I have the 3DS yeah. now. I mean, the Nintendo stuff I only use for like top notch. Uh, so like a link between worlds you playing on that one? Hmm. Yeah. And that's, I think, because I, my, my 3DS, I got it with the two Marios. Uh, I'm probably going to pick up Luigi's Mansion and Zelda, and that's it. I think I have every 3DS game I care about. You should give, uh, just, I know you're not going to play it, but I'm just saying, throwing it out there, you should give Pokemon a shot. I think you might enjoy it. I don't know. But the same things with the Wii U. I'm missing one or two games. Big Ben, no. you got to try it. Even if you borrow it from Brian, you got to try it. I maybe, think you'll love it. Maybe I'll borrow. I really do. I want to get the new Mario and uh, the Sonic Lost World game, and that's it. 
and the Wii U has nothing on the horizon for me either. So it's not going to be. That's what I'm saying. Those things aren't like. Hence, uh, no, Craigslist. Those things aren't. Those things aren't huge burdens to me. I'm not like, oh my god, when am I going to find time for my Wii? It's like there's. Yeah. You knock out that one game and it's cool. It could sit on the shelf for another four months until the next game comes out that I care about. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not a big deal. So I got uh, one last thing and then we're jumping some final thoughts. This one is the Tony section. This is where he compares his uh, first, uh, I guess, uh, almost two weeks with his PS4 and like first week with his uh, Xbox One. Mm. So uh, first off. I would love to revisit this in a month. In a month, okay. But I'm going to do the best that I can. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's initial. You know, right it's now. only been a few days with your Xbox One, and a, a and few I've, more spent, with I've spent I've spent I've spent even less with the PS4 because the week I got the PS4, busy. I was working like doubles, like work to work to work to work. Mm. Like the first week I owned my PS4, it was on for like 40 minutes. Okay. Whereas the Xbox weekend was a little bit more available so I, I actually spent more time with the Xbox one than the PS4 so far um, the PS4 uh, I actually have some topics for you to go oh, if you'd like uh, go ahead I, I was start off uh, basic first off uh, which controller do you enjoy more? the Xbox one's got a better controller really yeah. just overall the, P, the PS I'm not taking anything away from the DualShock they improved it in every way shape and form mm. it's an excellent excellent controller uh, the Xbox one has a better controller okay Good year. Um, other than, I mean, I guess this one will probably go to PlayStation, I would assume, but you, uh, with the interface. Oh, yeah. Play, uh, PlayStation fucking nailed it. Uh, the interface is 100 times better than what Xbox has. Uh, everything's close. Everything makes sense. It's intuitive. You don't have to know what you were doing. Like, Xbox, I know what the hell I'm doing, and I still can't find shit. Mm. There's a learning curve. There. You know what I mean? We're, we're, we're like, if you do not ever do anything, the PS4 just makes sense the way they laid it out. Uh, it's very simple to find things. Uh, it's laid out very efficiently. Uh, yeah, PS4 wins hands down on the the current state of the interfaces, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, other than that, I have to say, the only first-party games... You actually did both the first-party games, which is Forza and Killzone. They're completely different, though. That's It's hard to compare them. Yeah. It's all hard, because I don't have any shooters on... Xbox and all I have on PlayStation is shooters. It's three different genres. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm enjoying them both. Um, right now, I think I have to give the games to Xbox. Uh, the combination of Rise and I mean Forza alone is more important to me than Killzone would ever be. Uh, but then you throw you stack Rise on top of that, and Xbox has better games right now. Uh, I don't think that'll be the case for very long. Sony's just got too many studios under its arsenal. But for right now, uh, the Xbox has the better games. Cool. Uh, you can jump into anything else about comparing the two if you'd like. Um, <clears throat> the, I, I, I kind of want to pick up the PS4 camera now just to see what it's like and what it does. Because if it has some good voice functionality... Like Maybe the Xbox like does, even if the camera sucks and I never use it, uh, if it does what the Kinect does voice-wise, I'm actually very interested in all that, in that, what the Kinect's voice does for all of my electronics. I wish everything was like that. Um, I, like, I don't know. Um, I, I don't like a lot of what the Xbox did. Uh, I don't like the store... I don't like the achievements now. It's just weird, like, like the way that they laid them out. Where they're huge. Like when you when you click on the achievement thingy, and nothing's there when you hit the guide button right away. What comes up? You still have to like the home. It just brings you home. Oh, it yeah. just brings you now, home. They call it the home button. Now. So oh, it's like getting this, the the was it the Windows button on your computer now. It just brings you to the freaking. You don't you don't get that pop up that let you do everything like on the three sixty. Yeah. Uh, so you still have to go down, scroll to achievements, and then you look at them and like, like two achievements fit per page, because they're, they're it's, it's like really a good done. idea. They're really big and they're colorized and there's a screenshot of what you did when you unlocked it, or maybe it's the same for everybody, I don't know. Okay. And it's really big, the size of your screen, it's like 15 gamer score, a little in the corner. 
the big title for what you did. They look like playing cards. And you have to like scroll over. And it's not at least 50 like, of those I, per game. I liked those little things, you know what I mean? Like the little tiles that you kind of yeah. highlight, you hovered over and it explained what to do. It's it's almost like a pain now. Um, which kind of, it's kind of unfortunate. I'm sure we'll get used to it, but like, I, I really didn't like what they did. Uh, the, I don't like what they did with the Xbox store either. Uh, the PlayStation Store is a lot better on the PS4 than the PS3. I found out uh, it's the same store. It just runs well on the PS4, which it's was half. Fast. It's it was half the problem with the PlayStation 3 is it didn't loading. run very well. Um, the Xbox Store was way way better on the 360. Um, I don't know. I comparing the two heads on. Um, I really don't know, man. It's 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 a toss up. I enjoy them both. I'm 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 curious myself which one I'm gonna lean more toward. Like when I was walking into this, I was positive that the PS4 would be in my lead council. Uh, not a doubt in my mind. Uh, not that I'm not that that it very well may not go that way, but like I just don't know. I, I think like all the bad press that the Xbox got over the course of the last year. It started to get to me subconsciously, where I was even starting to doubt it. I'm like, I'm gonna get this because I'm gonna want to play Forza. I'm gonna want to play Halo. I'm gonna want to play Gears. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna buy the fucking thing. Uh, but it's just like all that crap, little by little, built up, and I'm like, maybe this thing's kind of a piece of shit, and it's really not. You know, it's amazing what they did with the Xbox One, but the PS4 is amazing too. So uh, it definitely made up, made up some. Uh, some steps or some strides that that in my head it was lacking before I had laid a hand on either one of these consoles, so that's a plus for the. It's not a burn on the PlayStation. The PlayStation is everything I thought it'd be. It's a plus for the Xbox that it's better than I expected. Okay. So. No real lean on either side yet, though. Or are you more towards Sony a little bit just by? I wish I could mash them together like every console ever. There's okay. a lot I love about the PS4 that. Uh, doesn't have doesn't work Xbox. right on the Xbox yeah. One and vice versa. There's shit on the Xbox One I wish the PS4 had. Hire Tony. Been saying it forever. We need a unified console. Cool. Bring the best of both worlds. I mean, uh, after that, all I got really for is uh, some final thoughts. It's good. Tony. It's good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Up. Um, I, I'm, I need more time. Yeah, I, I mean, need, it's only I, few I, days. Need, I need more time. I, I need uh, some variety in my games. I need to figure out what's going on with my Kinect. Um, no regrets though at this point. Yeah, half my games are still in cell phone, guys. I mean, it's 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 so fresh. I mean, you figure these things launched uh, like thirty some hours ago. I mean, yeah, Tuesday night, Sunday. We got. I still have to sleep. I still. It was have Friday. To, sorry, what am I talking yeah, about? Yeah, it was just Saturday, and today's Sunday. It's 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 here already. Mm -hmm. You know, we're recording Sunday. We're here all day doing this. So I barely fucking touch a thing, you know. I gotta sleep. <laughs> We're here all day. I gotta sleep and eat. And... <laughs> he showed up at like quarter to seven. <laughs> I work until I'm giving you well, shit, buddy. No, but well, they, they're gonna think that fucking to me. This has been all day. Uh, I don't know if you didn't watch that shitty Bears game. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, but series, uh, series like the Bears were crushed. <laughs> I swear to God. That's great. Uh, so, you. it's, um, yeah, I haven't had enough time. Sleep and eat and work and fucking life. The good news is, come next week, I have an awful lot of time. So, I will be very familiar with these in the next two or three weeks. Sounds good. All right. Uh, you all good? Everybody? Yeah. All right, this has been episode 94, part two. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch us next week, same time, same place.